Hello again. It's been weeks since last video and I loved how you guys reacted on my first devlog. Thank you. In the previous part, we made the player controller with some cool game feel effect. And I said that we are going to talk about the weapons and how I made them. But to be honest, I wasn't satisfied. For example, the pistol is a one solid object. And when you animate such a thing, it feels like it doesn't belong to reality. So, I had to start over. By getting an image reference of my first gun, which is the Glock, I tried to shape it as low poly as possible. And divide it into three parts. The gun root, which contains most of the model, the slider, and the magazine. That would make it easy to animate later on. Once that was done, it's time to texture. So I UV mapped the gun model with seams in appropriate organized way. So it will be easy for me to texture. And basically UV map is the process of projecting a 3D model into a 2D surface. I exported the image to Creta, which is a free and open source software and tried to slice and cut the image reference. I resized the image to 128 by 128 resolution, and this was the final result. Most of PlayStation 1 games used to have a unique arm model, as we can see here in Silent Hill, where the thumb is separated from the rest of the fingers. Using the same method, I modeled and UV unwrapped the arm. With Krita, I managed to fully texture it. After that, I rigged the model and used inverse kinematics. I imported the gun model and gave it some bones under the same rig of the arm. One for the slider, one for the gun root, and one for the magazine. When I had a good result, I made the first pose and a couple of animation, like the idle, the walk, the sprint, etc. Reload was a tough one for me, and I will try to improve it in the future. In Unity, I used the terrain system because it will help me in a lot of ways in making a level. For example, the process of painting a texture on the ground is much easier now. In my previous part, I felt like the player controller wasn't real. It was like a capsule gliding around the world, which is by the way. So I created a simple shake screen script and attached it to the camera. I can access the shake function from any other script with defining the values. For example, when you just press the spacebar, there will be a small shake. When you land, the shake will be bigger. I used it also when you just press left shift to sprint. With that being said, I had to make the player sound effect system. What I did, I made a couple of tags in my project like the grass or the wood or the metal, etc. And based on the tag, the footstep sound effects will play randomly between how many sound clips you have. I also used other ones using my voice in Audacity, like the player voice when you jump or him breathing when you start running. With all of that combined, this was the result.
I imported the Ghana Peaks file with the animation as you can see. I made an animator for this gun and it's time for some logic. And to be honest, it really took me a long and hard time to figure out how to do this. But in the end, I managed somehow to do it. I wanted to make one scalable script that I can use in all of my weapons. As we can see here in my code, we have the time between the shots, the reload time, like when you're reloading, the player is not allowed to shoot until the reload animation is done. If my weapon is auto fire or not, how much damage this gun will do. I also made some graphical variables that will appear during the shoot function to improve the process. Like the screen shake or the muzzle flash, etc. I also called the animator from the gun to play the right animation at the right time. Finally, I created a sway script and put it in my gun holder. It will play in all of my guns that are inside. Adding a crosshair and text to represent the ammo with shoot and reload sound effect, the system ended up looking like this. For the first enemy, I wanted it to be a spider, because they are scary, and uh, I fear them somehow. The funny thing, this fear started when I was a kid, when Aragog from Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets appeared. Yet, I wanted to make my own version of them. A bloody shape with a glowing eye in the middle, I modeled the spider. Using a meat and a big eye image, I textured it in Greta. Give it some bones and a couple of animation, and it was done. In Unity, I got used of the Nerf Mesh component. I made another scalable script so I can use it in other enemies, with a hit particle effect, and getting destroyed one, also making a weird sound effects in Audacity. That's how they appeared. They cannot hurt me because I didn't make the player's health system yet, though I can hurt them. I already designed the map for a demo and I will try to publish it soon. If you want to help me making this game, there is a link in the description below for a donation. Until the next part, peace.